We are joined by a Canadian pop powerhouse this morning. Juno nominee, BT Playlist regular Christina Maria joins us to chat about her newest single called Move Like a Soldier. Also, how she's giving back to a cause close to her heart. It is very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you for having me. Your songs are all over the place. They are. Good. That's what I want to hear. Right? <laughs> That's how it's supposed to be. Do you remember the first time that you heard your song coming out of a store? Or, or you know what? I was in my car, and I thought it was the CD. I was like, no, no, my God, eject, and it wasn't like coming out. So I was like, oh, my God, it's, it's the radio. It was so cool. Do you get used to it, or is it, is it still pretty neat? I mean, you've no. had a lot of charting singles. It is so much fun. So much fun. No, it still gets no. I still get excited. It's been a pretty wild ride, especially over the last couple of years. You've played in front of I don't know hundreds of thousands of yeah. people. Uh, your songs are everywhere. You got nominated for a for a Juno. Um, yeah. What what's it been like specifically, like 2013, 2014? You know what? It's been quite the adventure. Uh, I get to wake up every day saying I'm living my dream, and I get to wake up saying that. I, I, I love what I do. Not a lot of people get to mm -hmm. say that. And, you know, I've grown so much and I've learned so much and I'm still learning. And I can't wait for the, ne for the next album because I have so much to, to share with everybody. And I'm so excited. Okay, so let's talk about the next album. Yeah. Um, what's the difference for you making album number two as opposed to album number one? Well, you know what? Album number one was exciting and everything, but with all the writers, you know, my manager, Vito Luprano, he, he's, a, he's a veteran. He yeah, knows everybody. Yeah. He signed Celine years ago, and so he, he got me to work with the best writers, and so I got to co-write with these amazing writers that wrote for Celine, for Britney, and everybody, and with each one of them, I've learned so much that mm -hmm. in the next album, I just feel it's going to be bigger and better. Okay, and we're expecting a fall release sometime in the fall, yeah. but, but there's already a single out, so let's talk uh, about your single move Like a Soldier. Well, I co-wrote it, and uh, I walked into the studio, um, just I had seen this show about drinking and driving, and I just felt inspired, and I just knew exactly what I wanted to write about, about just like bringing somebody out of that dark place in their life, and you know, I would never say, oh, don't drink, I, I'm a social drinker myself, mm -hmm. but it's all about that one drink too, too much, and, and just like calling a cab, I mean, I call my mom whenever I need to, I'm not ashamed of it. And have you seen the video club? Yes, yeah, we have it. Yeah, we have it right here. Yeah, we tried our best to kind of bring that out of the song. And, and, you know, that was a very fun <laughs> video to make. But you kind of went the extra step and you're actually doing something in conjunction with Mothers Against Drunk Driving. Yeah, you know, we really, my, my, my manager and I really wanted to give that because I love what they do and I really look up to what they do and, and it's really cool. Um, uh, you mentioned now you're Vito Luprano. Yes. Okay, you say he's a music industry vet. It's it's true. You mentioned him a couple of times, and I think it's really interesting because there was a time when artists in repertoire and people's managers really um, kind of handheld people through the process. It's not always the case, but you've been lucky enough from a young yeah. age to have a mentor like that. Yes. What does that mean to have it? Because you're, you're still pretty young to have that kind of uh, fundamental support. I think that it's so important and people don't realize it. I think people think that, you know, oh, if you get a record deal or this and that, it's just going to work. It's not the way it works. You know, you have to click with a person. The person has to believe in you. And I've never seen anybody that believes in you so much like he does because we've gone so far that, you know, it's incredible and it makes me feel really blessed and, and I've learned so much from him and, and it's, I really feel blessed. And what do you think if there are, you know, young girls watching you out there who, who want to be a pop star just like you, what's your advice? Because you still, I mean, you know, being discovered is one thing, but you've you got to work hard. You've... You really have to work hard. Keep doing what you love. Be yourself. I cannot say this enough. Just be yourself and you're going to get that door shut in your face so many times, so many times, but and that millions and gazillions of no, you're gonna have that one yes that's gonna be meant to be and it's gonna work out if it's meant to be. How do you kind of get yourself back up after after the, the door slams, after somebody says no? You know what, you kind of get used to it because that's just the nature of the business. You know, you can't get upset over it. You, 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 you gotta send your stuff out and just be prepared that it's gonna be a no most of the time and, and it's good that way, so like that you find that like diamond in the rough, you know, that it's going to work with. Well, the doors are opening for you, young Thank lady. Thank you. Christina Maria, we are very happy for your success. Thank you. Uh, let us know when you come back through and your album comes out. We're really Thank you. you. Move Polish. like a soldier, though. Uh, video is out now, song is out now. More information and links at breakfasttelevision.ca. We're going to check